Over 2,000 years ago, in a quiet village called Nazareth, a young woman named Mary lived a simple, faithful life. One day, everything changed. An angel named Gabriel appeared before her. His presence radiant with divine light. He delivered a message that would change the world. You are chosen. You will give birth to a special child God's own son. You will name him Jesus. But how is this possible? How would this happen? The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And through God, all things are possible. Mary was engaged to Joseph, a humble carpenter. When he discovered Mary was expecting, he was troubled and unsure of what to do. But that night, an angel appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, there's no need to be afraid. Her child is a gift from the Holy Spirit. Joseph awoke with peace in his heart. Filled with faith, he stood by Mary, ready to protect her and the miraculous child she carried. Soon after, Emperor Augustus issued a decree. Every citizen must return to their ancestral town to be counted. So Mary and Joseph set off on a long, tiring journey to Bethlehem, the city of David. When they finally arrived, the town was crowded. Every inn was full. They searched tirelessly for shelter. But door after door was closed to them. At last, one kind innkeeper offered a simple place. That night, beneath a sky full of stars, in the quiet company of animals, Mary gave birth to Jesus. She wrapped him in cloth and laid him in a humble manger, not far away. Shepherds were watching their flocks. Suddenly, the night sky burst with heavenly light. Angels appeared, singing and rejoicing. Meanwhile, in distant lands, wise men spotted a brilliant star in the sky, a sign of something extraordinary, guided by the star. They journeyed far, carrying precious gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. The shepherds hurried to Bethlehem and found everything just as the angels had said a newborn baby resting in a manger. Soon, the wise men arrived, kneeling before Jesus and offering their treasures. This was no ordinary birth in the most unassuming of places. It reminds us that the greatest miracles soften begin in the most humble and unexpected ways. Thank you for watching. Have you ever wished you could share the stories of the Bible in a way that moves hearts and builds a real income stream at the same time? Picture this. Stunning 3D animated Bible stories reaching millions across the globe, sparking faith and bringing in thousands of dollars each month through YouTube AdSense. Sounds impossible? It's not. Others are doing it. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how you can do it too. I'll walk you through the exact steps to create high-quality animated Bible stories using AI. I'll even give you four ready-to-use prompts that will help you write engaging stories, create eye-catching visuals, animate scenes, and most importantly, keep your characters consistent throughout the entire video. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have everything you need to start posting your own Bible story animations that can inspire and generate income. Let's get started. First, we're going to use ChatGPT to come up with ideas and generate our story script. To make it super simple, I've prepared five ready-to-use prompts that will help us create a complete story in just a few clicks, so you don't have to start from scratch. The first step is getting great Bible story ideas. Head to the description of this video, copy prompt number one, and paste it into ChatGPT. This prompt will generate biblically accurate story ideas for your YouTube videos. As you can see, the results are neatly organized by Bible passage and message. Each suggestion includes a title, a moral lesson, and a short summary. Now, scroll through and pick the one you like. I'm going with the fifth one. Copy it and paste it into ChatGPT. But before you click Generate, go back to the description section of this video again and copy prompt number two. Paste it right below your story title. This second prompt will turn your Bible story into a short, powerful script, about one to three minutes long. You can adjust the story length later by tweaking the prompt. 
Once ChatGPT finishes the story, copy the text and paste it into a Google Doc. This is going to make things much easier later on. I'll explain why in just a moment. Now let's talk about one of the most important parts of storytelling, character consistency. To help with this, I've created a third prompt just for you. Copy prompt number three from the video description and paste it into ChatGPT. This prompt will scan your story and identify all the characters, then give you detailed descriptions of how each one should look. These details are key to making sure your characters stay visually consistent from start to finish. Once you have the character breakdown, copy the descriptions and paste them into a new Google Doc. Perfect. We now have the story and the character details. Next, it's time to create image prompts for every scene in our story. To make this part easy, I've crafted a special prompt that guides ChatGPT on how to write image prompts, while keeping the visual style consistent throughout. Here's what to do. Copy prompt part 4 from the video description and paste it into ChatGPT. Now we'll go through the story, scene by scene. Let's say the first line of our story is, over 2,000 years ago, in the small town of Nazareth. Copy that sentence and paste it into ChatGPT. ChatGPT will generate a scene analysis, list the characters present, and then provide a detailed image prompt. Next line, lived a young woman named Mary. This introduces Mary, who wasn't in the previous scene. So, after pasting this sentence into ChatGPT, also paste Mary's character description right below it. This ensures ChatGPT includes Mary's exact appearance when generating the visual prompt. You can technically skip this step, but I highly recommend it. Sometimes ChatGPT might leave out important character details, and we want Mary to look exactly the same in every single scene. Let's do one more. Paste the third sentence of your story into ChatGPT, followed by any character descriptions relevant to that scene. Repeat this for all scenes to keep visuals accurate and characters consistent. Once we've got all the visual prompts, it's time to generate the images. We'll use Google AI for this. Go to Google AI Studio and sign in. Click on Generate Media, then tap on Imogen. Now, head back to ChatGPT and copy the first image prompt you just generated. Paste it into Google AI's prompt box. Set the aspect ratio to 16.9 and hit Run. Boom. In just a few seconds, you've got a Pixar-style visual ready to go. Download it. Repeat the process. Back to ChatGPT, grab your second prompt, paste it into Google AI, and hit run again. Do this for every scene to complete your image collection. Now it's time to bring these visuals to life by adding motion. Head over to the best AI video generator, Hylio AI. Click on create video, make sure image to video is selected, and upload your first image. In the prompt box, you can add specific instructions to guide the animation style. Scroll down to select a camera movement. You'll see options like pans, zooms, and more. Then select a model. Hilo 02 or Hilo 01 Live. Scroll down again and choose a resolution. Go with 512p as it only uses 12 credits. Click generate and just like that, your first animated scene is ready. Hit play. It looks amazing, right? Now do the same for the rest. Upload the next image. You can add prompt instructions like the character performs subtle looped movements such as natural eye blinks, gentle head tilts, smiling at the camera. Next, select the camera movement. and hit generate. Looking great. Follow this process for rest of the visuals. Now let's generate the narrator's voiceover. Head to capcut.com, tap on create new, and select text to speech. You'll find a wide range of voices to choose from. Next, open the Google Doc where you saved your script.
Copy the narrator's lines and paste them into CapCut's text-to-speech box. Pick a voice, I'm going with Nigel for the narrator, and click Generate. Once that's done, download the voiceover. Now, open the CapCut desktop app. Upload the visuals you created, drag them to the timeline, and align them according to your script. Next, upload the voiceover and drop it onto the timeline too. Let's add some transitions. Click on the Transitions tab, and try effects like black fades, heavenly flashes, and square blurs to match the mood of your story. Now click on Audio, scroll down to Sound Effects, and add immersive touches like sparkle sounds, wind blowing, and baby coos. Once that's done, go to Filters and select Vivid for a more cinematic look. Finally, hit Export, choose 4K resolution, and boom, your video is ready to upload. If this tutorial helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that notification bell so you never miss a powerful new video like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.